Hi everyone, welcome you all. In our previous video, we have seen what is store procedure and what are the advantages and how we can develop store procedures in the database. Now in the today's video, I'm going to show you what are all different scenarios we have to test as part of store procedure testing. And also I will show you how we can write the test cases for store procedures. And finally, we will see how we can test store procedures by executing the SQL commands. Now let us start. So before uh, testing the stored procedure, so first we need to know what are the different scenarios need to be tested on stored procedures. So if I take any uh, stored procedures, commonly we have to test a few important uh, scenarios. Like we need to test whether the check pro uh, stored procedures are exist in the database or not. And we need to also check stored procedure with all valid input data. And some stored procedures may take some input data or parameters and sometimes may not take any parameters. Basically, store procedures will support input and output parameters. So we need to test all input parameters are properly taking or not. And at the same time, we need to also test output parameters. And also we need to check store procedure handle exceptions properly or not whenever you pass some invalid data or invalid input to the store procedures. And also we need to check store procedures display uh, results as per our expectation. And also we need to check stored procedures properly inserting the data in proper table. So sometimes stored procedures are also responsible for inserting the data in the tables. So sometimes it can be the single table or it can be multiple tables. So we need to check the whether stored procedure properly inserting the data in multiple tables properly or not. And suppose if the stored procedure is uh, trying to update data in the table, that also we need to check whether it is updating data properly in the tables or not. And similarly, we need to also check our store procedure is properly deleting the data from the tables or not. And basically, these store procedure will perform DML operation like insert, update, delete, and so on. And finally, we need to also check. Sometimes we need to call the store procedures from some other store procedures. And that is also possible or not, we need to check. So these are all functional test scenarios. Apart from that, we need to also test performance of the store procedures and security testing of the store procedures. So all these things also. Sometimes we need to test and there comes under again, non-functional part. Okay. So here let's mainly focus on the functional part, how we can test the stored procedures. So based on this understanding, let us try to understand the uh, data model or design document of stored procedures. And uh, based on that, let us try to write some test cases for stored procedure. So let me share a small uh, document here. And uh, this is a simple uh, requirement or design document you can consider. And here I have uh, listed out some of the store procedures. This document uh, describes what are the store procedures should be there in the database and what is the functionality of the store procedure, what are the different input parameters it will take, and what are the output parameters. All these things will be mentioned in this particular document. So before testing the stored procedure, we need to know what are all stored procedures available in the database and uh, how exactly they are working and what exactly the functionality of the stored procedures. Okay, so these stored procedures we are directly testing by connecting the database, right? So this is a, a kind of a white box testing we can say. So stored procedure one. So here, this is a stored procedure. So we already developed these stored procedures in the, my previous video I have shown you. Now we are trying to understand the functionality of those stored procedures, okay? So here select all customers. So this is the one store processor. What exactly it will do is this will select all the records from the customer table. So to select all the records from the customer table, we can simply write one SQL statement, right? Select star from customers, it will give you, but we cannot save that query somewhere else and uh, we cannot reuse the same query multiple times. So for that reason, we need to go with the store procedures. So for every store processor, whatever the store processor is uh, doing the task, the same task we can also do by writing the SQL commands. But only the difference is if I write a SQL commands tomorrow, if you want to do the same task again and again, you have to execute the same commands, but you cannot store them. You need to write the same queries every time. So for that reason, we have to create a stored procedure and uh, whenever you need, just call the stored procedure and that internally execute the queries and perform the task. So here select all customers is a stored procedure. And basically the description is it will select all the customer's data. There is no input parameters required, output parameters also not required. This is the first stored procedure. Now, so for this stored procedures, uh, and then next to go with the second stored procedure. So later I will show you how we can write the test cases for this stored procedures. Now the second stored procedure, select all customers by city. So this particular stored procedure, if I just look at the def uh, description, you select customers from particular city 
from the customer table. So we need to pass one input parameter that is uh, our city name. So once you pass this input parameter city name and uh, corresponding records will be displayed from the customer and there are no output parameters required. And uh, there is another store procedure. So let's say select all customers by city and pin. So here we need to pass two input parameters. One is city name and the other one is postal code. So based on this, it filter the data and uh, provide the results. Here. So this is a one more store procedure. It will select a customer from particular city with particular pin code from customer table. And there is one more store procedure. And what this will do is get order by customer. So here this will accept uh, customer number and returns the total number of orders that were shipped, cancelled, resolved, and disputed. If we pass the customer number as an input parameter, that store procedures will display like how many orders shipped to him and how many orders cancelled by him, how many orders can resolved or disputed for him, that information will be displayed. And uh, here there are four output parameters are required. So because when you pass the customer info, a customer number, this will return how many orders are shipped, how many orders are canceled, how many orders are resolved, and how many orders are disputed. So this information will be displayed by the store procedure. And uh, store procedure, the next one is get customer shipping. And uh, basically this particular store procedure uh, will take input parameter as a customer number. And accordingly, it will find out the customer is belongs to which country. And uh, based on the country information, it will give you the shipping time. Like it will take two days, or if it is from USA, it will take two days uh, shipping. And if he's from Canada, then three days is shipping. And he's from other countries, so five days of shipping. So this is a requirement. And accordingly, we need to pass the customer information, customer number, and it will give you the shipping time. So this is a simple flowchart which is given to understand uh, what exactly the functionality is. So we will pass the country. Uh, we will pass a customer ID and it will find out the customer country. If the customer country is USA, two day shipping. Customer country is Canada, three day shipping. And if the customer country other than USA, Canada, and five day shipping. So, this is a logical uh, flowchart they have given. So, based on this, we can understand. So, like this, you will get uh, a requirement for store procedures. Right? So, even developers also develop their store procedure based on the requirement. And even testers also, we need to use the same thing. Uh, to write the test cases and uh, execution part. Okay, so once you understand the functionalities, now let us go ahead to the connect to the database. And before connecting and testing them, first we need to write a test cases. Now let me show you sample test cases uh, for these particular store procedures. Let me just go to the Excel sheet, and this is a test case template. In the last uh, video, I have shown you how to write the test cases for table and fields. Now I'm going to show you how we can write the test cases for store procedure. And these test cases are only the functional testing part will be covered. And if you want to test performance or security, you need to write another set of test cases. So here, my mainly focus on functionality of the store procedures. So here, uh, we mentioned the test case IDs. And uh, this is a sample template. You can just consider this and uh, understand how we can write the test cases for stored procedures. So here, and uh, again, before writing the test cases, you need to understand different type of store procedures you can write. So some store procedures will select only data select the data and some store procedure will try to insert and some store procedure will update and delete. So different type of operations will be performed. Accordingly, we need to write our test cases and validation points and so on. So here, the first test is we need to check particular store procedures are present in the databases or not. So to validate these things, we need to validate only through query statements. Okay, we need to connect to the database and then we need to execute certain number of queries. Accordingly, we need to check. Okay, so for that, what we need to do is uh, suppose if you want to check what are the procedures are available in the database, we need to execute one query, like show procedure status where DB equal to classic model. So if I execute this command, which will show you what are all procedures are created under classic models database. Now, let me just connect to the database. And uh, I already connected to the classic models or else you can say use classic models. And once you connected to the database, now you can just execute this query. So this will give you exactly what are the stored procedures are created in this particular database. So currently six stored procedures which are already created here. Okay. So this is a query which we need to execute. So these are the steps. Or suppose if you want to know a specific stored procedure present or not, you can just execute this query. This is another statement which we have. Show procedure status where Instead of DB equal to classic models, you can directly specify the name equal to select all customers. So this is the name of the procedure. 
So when I execute this, this will give you the information about only that particular stored procedure. So then we need to check whether this is present or not in the same database or not, whether it is a procedure or not. So all these things we can verify. It. So this is my first test case, whether the stored procedure is present in the database or not, which is created or not. So to test this, we don't need any test query. So we can directly execute this command and which will show you whether the procedure is available or not. So for testing purpose, we don't need to use any test query. So even test data is also not required. So store procedure name should be displayed in the list. That is our expected result and actual results we will update at the time of execution. And now the second test case is select all customers and check store procedure, select all customers, display all the records from the customer table. So how we can test is if we just call the store procedure by using call command, we can just call the store procedure. So if this is not taking any input or output parameter. So we can just call this uh, store procedure and uh, then it will give you all the customer's data. But uh, how we will know whether it is giving proper customer's data or not. So for example, I'm executing this query, right? So which is giving all the customer's data. So there are so many rows are there and so many columns are there. But how we will know whether exactly this is getting the data from the customer's table. So what we need to do is uh, we need to prepare our test query. So this is a stored procedure call. When you call the stored procedure, which will give you the exact data, sometimes it may be single table or sometimes it may be multiple tables, right? So currently this is using only single table. If you have a multiple tables, again, we need to check uh, what are the different columns are coming from different tables. So for that, we need to prepare one test query also. What is exact test query inside the store procedure? What exactly query we are executing? select start from customers only, right? So we need to prepare a test query like this. When I run this test, when I run this select a start from customer, so this is actually test query. And whatever the data which is written by this statement also should be exactly same as this one. Because select all customers internally calling the customer's table only. So whatever the results that this particular command is returning or this particular store processor call is returning, the same data should be there, uh, should be written by this select query. Okay, this is actual step which we need to test whether store is able to call or not. And this is a validation check when you get the data from the customer. So the data should be same for these two queries. And you can just randomly verify how many rows we have and what are the different columns are there. So you can just compare these two and check it. So one is a store procedure call, the other one is a select this statement. Okay, now here, test data. What is the test data is required? We don't need any test data. So we can just say not applicable. Right, so what is the expectation? So display all the records from the customer table. And if it is displayed, then we can say actual results also passed. Okay, so here we need to do only manual testing. And uh, in the next video, I'll show you probably how we can automate uh, these two procedures, how we can write a test cases for automation test cases for these two procedures. So for now we need to test manually. So we need to execute this stored procedure and check the data and then execute this test query and check the data. Both are exactly same or not, we need to verify and both the data result sets are same, then we need to make the pass test method test case, and then we need to or fail the test case. So this is one test for select all customers store procedure, and which is not taking any input or output parameters. Now there is one more test TC003, and uh, let us execute this call, select a call, select all customers. So when I execute this, which is giving the same uh, output and select star from customers also, which is giving the same output, so almost same. So let me just make it is passed. Actual results also as expected. Okay, as per our design. Okay, and uh, same thing, you can also make it as, as per design. I can, if you pass, I can simply update this is a passed like this. Okay, so two tests are completed. So now let us see another test. So select all customers by city. So this particular test case is written for uh, this particular store procedure, select all customers by city. And what it will take input parameter is city name and it will display all the information from the customer. So how we can call the store procedure by using call statement, we can call the store procedure, select all customers by city, we need to pass the argument. So whichever city we pass and that particular data will be displayed. And again, how we will know whether the data is correct or not, suppose, when you execute this, so this will give you uh, three records, right? How we will know whether it is properly giving data or not. So we need to our own, write our own test query. So how to write the test query? 
So the test query, whatever we have written, that output of this test query or result set of the test query should be the same as a store closure call results. So when I execute this, so you can see select star from customers where CD equal to Singapore. And this should also return three records. Exactly three records it is given, right? So this is how we can check this particular store closure, which is taking one single input parameter. Okay, and remember this store processor will not return any data. Okay, store processor can display the data. And when execute your select command, it is not exactly returning anything for us. Okay, just displaying the data. But if, if, if you want to return the some data or if you want to result or if you want to return the results as something, then we need to go with the stored functions. So that is another concept we have in a database. Stored procedure is a different, stored function is a different. Okay, stored procedure can take the parameters but not return anything. But whereas stored function will take the parameters or may not take the parameters, but it can return the value also. Okay, there is a difference. So here we're talking about stored procedure. So basically it will give you the data. It will just display the result. So the same results that we can get it from this command. Select star from customers where city equal to Singapore. The same data should be there whenever you call this method. And through automation, it will be very easy because in automation, uh, we can whatever the data we will get from this store procedure call. And that data we will check or we will compare the data with the data which is given by this select query. So both the results set we will compare automatically. And that will work more effectively. So I'll show you that as part of automation. So here we need to do the manual testing. So how many rows we have, how many columns we have. So that both are exactly returning the same number of rows or same number of columns that we need to verify. Okay, so that's the one thing. And then the next one is uh, this one. The next store procedure is select all customers by city and pin code select all customers by CT and pin code. So here are two parameters or two input parameters we need to pass. And what this will give you, this will also return the customer's information based on the CT and pin code. Okay, this is the uh, stored procedure call. But again, if you want to check that the data is properly given or not, we will write our test query. Select star from customers where CT equal to Singapore and postal code equal to some value. So this particular, Thing we need to execute and this is test data sometimes if you want to use some test data you can specify the test data in under so if i execute this stored procedure if i call the stored procedure so this should also uh, give you customers data which are matching with the singapore and 079903 and this is basically a pin code right so you can just go and see the postal code this is the postal code which is matching and also Singapore, right? So country name is Singapore. This is city name is Singapore. This is also matching. So this is exactly giving the proper data. But again, we need to also check with our test query. So let me execute this test query. And uh, this is a direct query. This will directly hit the table. Okay, but store procedure will not directly hit the code, hit the table. So store procedure internally execute the method, execute the SQL command, and then SQL command uh will hit the database table so if i just directly hit the database table also this will give you the same record there is only one single record with this pin code and city okay so this is how we can check it the store procedure functionality and singapore and pin code and what is our expected here display customers from particular city with a particular postal code from customers table so this is also working as per the design so let me make it and then pass it Okay, now let me just cross check once again. If you just execute this stored procedure, if you are executing this stored procedures, so you don't see any nulls here, right? But when you execute this directly from table, it is giving some null values. So you can just notice here, but I don't have any record in this. Only one record is getting from the table, but stored procedure is just eliminating the nulls. It is just giving a, a original data, but it is just avoiding the null. You can just ignore that part. Okay, so now this is a one test we created for this store processor. Then next to store processor is get order by customers by passing input parameter. So this is another important store processor validation. So here, what we need to do is we will pass uh, customer ID is a input parameter. 
and that will based on the input id or based on the customer id and uh, the store processor should display the status like how many products are shipped to him and how many products uh, canceled by him or how many products are resolved how many products in disputed state so that information will be displayed specific to customer id okay so 141 is a input a input parameter rest of them are output parameters so if you execute this i'll tell you something here let's go back to the sql so actually there are two statements so these are one statement and this is a second statement so what exactly it will do is here get order by customer this is a store procedure call and we are passing one input parameter 141 and these are all output parameters so what exactly it will do is this particular store procedures this particular store procedure will store the output data in these variables and then we can print the data from these variables like at the rate shift cancel resolve disputed so we can just print them okay so we can just print the data like how many are shipped how many are cancelled how many are resolved how many are disputed it will need to print two, two statements are required here so execute the first query so when execute the first query you will not get any output here after that executing the select command so then you will see how many are shipped how many are cancelled how many are reserved how many are disputed so totally 22 0 1 and 1 so this is the output this store processor returning when you pass 141 okay let's keep this one side so now we need to test this whether it is properly giving the right data or not so uh, then we need to write our own test query so for that we need to prepare our own query so queries are very important to perform the database testing so this is our test query so what exactly this test query means so when you pass the input when you pass the customer id then it will give you how many are products are shipped cancelled resolved and disputed there is an expectation so we can achieve this by writing simple query also and if i just look at here i have written some query select and select account star as a shipped from orders where customer number equal to 141 and status equal to stable so this output will be stored in the shipped variable and the similarly this output will be stored in cancel this output will be show, stored in resolved and this will store in disputed so when you execute this statement this will give you the same result shipped cancel resolved disputed even in the store procedure call also given the same output 22011 and this is also giving the 22011 perfectly fine right this is our test query so with this by comparing these results we will know so this store procedure is properly returning the data from the database table right so for this particular, uh, this particular customer how many products are shipped for this particular customer and how many are cancelled how many are resolved how many are disputed that information will be displayed so as per the document also accept customer number and returns the total number of orders that were shipped or cancelled or resolved or and disputed this is the description and we need to pass only customer number and rest of them are the output parameters so for this this is our test case which we have written and customer id we can change this customer id and accordingly check with multiple times so what is an expected results accept customer number and returns the total number of orders that were shipped cancelled resolved and disputed so this is also working as per design so i can make it as passed all right so this is how we can just write the test cases and i'm doing execution also parallelly writing the test and we already written the test here so I'm going through all the test cases and parallelly I'm trying to execute them manually and checking the status. Fine. So this is a one test. And then the last test, check store procedure, get customer shipping by passing input parameter customer ID. So here also we need to pass the customer ID as an input parameter and then check how much time it will take for shipping. So that again depends upon the country. But here we are not passing the country input. We are passing the customer ID. Now, if I just look at the description of the store procedure, so return the shipping time based on the country of the customer. If the customer locates USA, shipping time is two-day shipping. If the customer locates Canada, the shipping time is three-day. And customers are from other countries, shipping time is five-day. And input parameter is a customer number and output parameters are shipping time it will return. So based on this flowchart, we can understand. So now we need to uh, call the store procedure. So let us test the store procedure call. So here I have prepared multiple store procedure because 
shipping will be shipping time will be different from different countries so we have we should cover the test with all countries like usa canada and other countries other than usa canada so we need to write three different tests so i have created three different uh, queries if i just go and execute this so this is a first call same store procedure i am calling with the different uh, ids so if i just execute the first one okay now the first store procedure call is done so the output is stored in the shipping so when i execute this second statement now shipping time is two day shipping so what exactly it is at the rate shipping is a variable output parameter so whatever the data uh, is giving by the store procedure we are storing into shipping and that is a variable and that variable i'm giving alias like shipping time and that is exactly printed as a column name so when you pass 112 i think that is belongs to us country so two day shipping is given suppose i say 260 and then execute the second statement and then it will give you three day shipping i think this is a canada now if i see other thing so let me execute this 353 and see the shipping time and then five day shipping so all three conditions are covered in the store procedure three conditions are mentioned all three conditions are covered right this is how we can just test the store procedure but how we can write the test query for that so whether these results are correctly giving or not so for that we need to create our own test query so this is the test query which is created for the same and results we need to compare with the actual store procedure call whatever results we are getting the same result should be getting through this test query so now here i am selecting everything from uh, customers table and country along with here case statement i have written this is a uh, my sql syntax a case statement here if you want to check multiple conditions like if else conditions will be there right so similarly like this is a case condition so when country usa then two day shipping when country canada then three day shipping else five day shipping and this case is end here and uh, whatever the output we are getting from this conditions i will give alias as a shipping time and from customers where customer id equal to 112 so whichever customer id we are passing it will first get the country from the customer and if the country is related to or equal to usa two day shipping equal to canada three day shipping or equal to other than usa canada then Five day shipping. This is our test query. So previously, when I pass this one one two, what is an output which is given? Two day shipping, which is given. So now let us pass same ID one one two here. Our test query also should display the two day shipping. Perfectly fine. Now execute the store procedure call two six zero. When I pass three day shipping, it is given. Now here I am passing two six zero, and this test query also giving the same three day shipping. and check another condition 353 which is given 353 which is given 5 day shipping and here 355 353 so 353 let us check this which is also should give 5 day shipping perfectly fine okay so now we need to compare the data so whatever the data we are getting from the store procedure call the data is exactly the same when you execute your testing query and then we can confirm the store procedure working fine okay so this is how we need to write the test cases for stored procedures and uh, we need to specify the expected actual test data and working fine or not all the statuses we can update after execution actually okay so apart from this sometimes there may be some other type of stored procedures like those will not give you any results but it will go and insert the data or update the data or delete the data in the tables so in those cases you need to execute the stored procedures we need to call the store procedures by passing required arguments or parameters and then query the table so whichever the tables are responsible or whichever tables are affected by that particular store procedure call you need to get the data from those tables and you need to check manually the store procedure is properly updating the data in multiple tables or not so there is a major test which we need to do uh, if the store procedure supporting like dml operations like insert update delete and so on but if the store procedure uh internally executing select query then we need to check the result set by writing the test query we need to cross check both the queries are giving right results or not okay so this is how we can just write the some basic manual test cases for stored procedure so depends on the requirement we can also add more number of uh, more number of validations on stored procedures right so this is the manual way of 
testing stored procedures. In the next video, I will show you how we can automate these tests. Even these also we can automate. We can just execute our actual stored procedure call, then execute our test query and get the result set. And we will again compare those results set and check the store procedure working fine or not. Okay, so that we will see in the next video. So that's all for this video. So thanks for watching. We'll see in the next video.